Celine Dion began captivating audiences as a teenager, so it's no surprise she's had many dramatic moments throughout her career. From her mesmerizing American TV debut to her surprise Grammys appearance, these are all the times the singer has left her fans speechless. In 1984, a 16-year-old Celine Dion had one of her earliest breakout moments when she serenaded Pope John Paul II at Montreal's Olympic Stadium. This performance marked a pivotal moment in Dion's career, signaling her ascent from a local sensation to an international star. Singing Un Colombe in front of an audience of 60,000, Dion's angelic voice was poignant with emotion, leaving an indelible impression on all who witnessed the event. Following her performance for the Pope, Dion soared to new heights of popularity, solidifying her status as a musical powerhouse. It was a defining moment for the young diva, setting the stage for her meteoric rise to superstardom. My dream is uh, um, to be international star. In 1990, Dion marked her debut on American television with a mesmerizing performance on The Tonight Show hosted by Johnny Carson. The Canadian singer captivated audiences with her rendition of Where Does My Heart Beat Now, a track from her album Unison. Carson had nothing but praise for the budding superstar. It's my talent. You're a lovely young lady. Your name is uh, Celine Dion. You're going to hear a lot from her. The significance of Dion's inaugural late-night show appearance cannot be overstated, as it marked her formal introduction to American audiences and foreshadowed her remarkable success in the years to come. In 1994, Dion made headlines once again, but this time it wasn't for her soaring vocals or chart-topping hits. It was for her wedding to her manager, Renée Angelil. The 26-year-old singer was already such an immense star that her wedding was televised in Canada. The union, celebrated on December 17, 1994, was nothing short of a grand spectacle. Dion was radiant in a colossal wedding dress that featured intricate lace detailing from the sleeves to the train, crystal work, and a flawlessly fitted sweetheart bodice. The wedding was in some ways controversial due to the 26-year age gap between Dion and Angelil. Dion's mother wasn't on board with the relationship at first, though Dion managed to earn her family's approval before getting engaged. For the couple, their marriage symbolized commitment, devotion, and enduring love. For the rest of the world, this wedding was almost royal and symbolized a love story that could endure any challenge. Celine Dion's performance at the 1998 Oscars is etched into the annals of entertainment history as one of her most iconic moments. Taking center stage during the 70th Academy Awards, Dion delivered a majestic rendition of My Heart Will Go On, the hauntingly beautiful theme song from the blockbuster film Titanic. I'm the king of the world! My Heart Will Go On went on to win the Oscar for Best Original Song, solidifying its place as one of the most iconic movie ballads of all time. The song's success was paralleled by the monumental achievements of the Titanic soundtrack, which became one of the best-selling soundtracks in history, selling an astonishing 30 million copies. My Heart Will Go On is not Dion's only blockbuster movie track either, as a few years earlier, the singer's song from Beauty and the Beast was a massive hit. Reflecting on her Oscars performance, she told Rosie O'Donnell that guards followed her the entire night to make sure nothing happened to the necklace. Evidently, Dion's trademark move, where she hits her chest, was too close for comfort. They freaked out. They thought that they were looking, <laughs> looking for the heart just in case. The necklace was fine, but Dion said she hurt her hand. In 1999, Dion made a bold fashion statement at the Oscars that reverberated through the world of haute couture. At a time when starlets and A-listers pretty much exclusively wore gowns to the Academy Awards, Dion donned a silky white tuxedo. And a backward one at that. The head-turning look was years ahead of its time. Reflecting on her groundbreaking ensemble, Dion told People, When I wore that look, yes, it was at the Oscars. And when I wore that, everyone was wearing dresses, not pants. It was avant-garde at the time. And it doesn't matter, you just have to assume what you wear, you wear. And I did. The white tuxedo was a big moment in award show fashion history, and a testament to Dion's pioneering spirit and willingness to challenge norms. By daring to defy convention, Dion proved that true style knows no bounds. 
In 2005, Dion gave an interview that stirred hearts and minds as she passionately addressed the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina. Dion sat down with Larry King in September of that year after she'd pledged $1 million to the cause. Partway through the interview, Dion's emotions got the best of her, leading the singer to speak candidly about the devastation and the urgent need for assistance. Speaking about her Las Vegas residency, Dion told King, I barely can sing, but for respect for the people who come, I am still singing. She was also unafraid to call out the U.S. government for its priorities. How come it's so easy to send planes in another country to kill everyone in a second, to destroy lives? We need to serve our country. To her, serving the country meant providing help to those stranded by Katrina, not continuing the Iraq war, to which she alluded to through her comment. Dion prioritized immediate and practical assistance for the victims, adding, Right now, they're praying for water. So we need to send them the water. They don't care about my check. The singer ended her interview by serenading the camera with a heartfelt musical prayer. Her sincere words and actions might have caught some viewers off guard, but the moment showcased her compassion and dedication to making a difference in the world. On January 14, 2016, Dion lost her husband and former manager, Rene Angelil. That is why her return to her Las Vegas residency at the Coliseum at Caesars Palace on February 23, 2016 was an especially emotional moment for the singer. The sold-out concert began with a heartfelt tribute to her husband, featuring a video showcasing significant moments from his life. Dion honored her late husband's memory by singing Barbra Streisand's With One More Look At You, dedicating the song to him. Angelil played a pivotal role in organizing Dion's iconic Las Vegas residency, which began in March 2003. At the time of her return, Dion had played 966 shows at Caesars Palace. In 2016, Dion announced that she planned to hit the 1,000 performances mark that year. Her emotional return to the stage resonated deeply with fans and portrayed her resilience and dedication to her craft. At the 2016 Billboard Music Awards, Dion received the Icon Award for her vast contribution to the music world. The event came only four months after the death of her husband. To add to the poignancy of the moment, Dion was presented the award by her son René Charles Angelil, an unexpected twist that brought the singer to tears. She said to the audience, I'm sorry for crying. I want to be so strong in front of my family and my kids. Dion also went on to give her thanks and dedicate the award to her late husband, saying, Renee, this one's for you. The show must go on. The singer then delivered a moving performance of Queen's The Show Must Go On. The 2016 BMAs became a memorable event not only for Dion's well-deserved recognition, but also for the touching tribute she paid to her husband. At the 2017 Billboard Music Awards, Dion left everyone in awe with her stunning gown in addition to her performance. The gown was a creation by designer Stefan Roland, handpicked by Dion stylist La Roche. The white dress featured puff sleeves, a dramatic V neckline, and metallically embellished detailing, making it a powerful fashion statement. Roach hid the dress from Dion until the last moment. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Roach recalled the moment he first showed it to her. He told the outlet, She was so excited when she tried it on and she walked out of her dressing room and looked in the mirror and was like, wow. Roach also spoke of the pleasure of working with Dion, calling her fearless. He told The Hollywood Reporter, That woman can wear clothes. She can literally wear and will wear anything. If she loves it, she loves it. She doesn't care. That for me is so powerful. It can be a challenge to leave a lasting impression at the Met Gala, which is the most outrageous and extravagant fashion event each year. For Dion, however, dazzling her audience was an easily attainable task. At the 2019 Met Gala, Dion impressed the fashion world with her ensemble, particularly her mesmerizing headpiece. The theme for the event was camp, and Dion was admittedly confused by it initially. As she told E! News, I thought, like, camping? I mean, we're going to we go camping. Still, her outfit left no room for doubt about her sartorial prowess. 
Dion graced the red carpet in a gold Oscar de la Renta gown, made up of heavily bejeweled fringe and weighing over 22 pounds. However, it was her theatrical headpiece that stole the spotlight. Adorned with thin, long feathers encircling the crown, the headpiece looked like a white peacock in its delicate beauty. Through her daring choice of attire, Dion once again proved her status as a fashion icon, effortlessly commanding attention and sparking conversations with her avant-garde style. No surprises here, but the praise rolled in. Vogue even declared, When it comes to camp, one thing seems certain, divas do it better. In November of 2023, Dion attended an NHL hockey game in Las Vegas, marking her first public appearance in nearly four years. The legendary singer, who disclosed her diagnosis of stiff person syndrome in 2022, showed up to support the Montreal Canadiens in their game against the Vegas Golden Knights. Dion's presence at the game garnered attention as she stepped into the locker room to greet her hometown team. Accompanied by her three sons, Dion was seen shaking hands with team members and posing for photographs. The Canadian's vice president of communications, Chantelle McAbee, posted a picture with Dion on her Instagram, writing in French, we had a beautiful visit at the game in Vegas yesterday. Thanks, Celine Dion, for your generosity. The whole team is so happy to have met you and your family. Despite facing health challenges, Dion remains determined to overcome obstacles and return to the stage. A source close to the singer told People, She has not given up at all. She is hoping to get all of the issues with this disease under control so she can sing again. Dion made a triumphant return to the spotlight at the 2024 Grammy Awards, stunning the audience with her surprise appearance on stage to present the Album of the Year Award. Despite suffering from complications related to stiff person syndrome, Dion's resilience and passion were unmistakable. As an unnamed source told OK Magazine, Celine is done hiding. Receiving a thunderous standing ovation, Dion exuded grace and gratitude as she presented Taylor Swift with the Album of the Year Award for Swift's Midnights. Before presenting the award, Dion expressed her appreciation for the moment, saying, Thank you all. I love you right back. You look beautiful. When I say I'm happy to be here, I really mean it from my heart. Swift herself joined in singing along to Dion's classic hit, The Power of Love, underscoring the universal admiration for the iconic singer. Dion's powerful spirit is a huge inspiration for her fans, and it was clearly palpable while she graced the Grammy stage.